How brilliant. Right. As supermarket prices continue to rise, the Coupon King is joining us with a very clever way to cut your food shop by almost £700 a year. With own brand products often being three times cheaper than branded alternatives, Jordan is here yes. behind the checkout to give us his top money-saving oh, tips. Yes. And you're also going to be testing our taste buds as well to see if we can decide which are the expensive ones and which are the cheaper versions. Absolutely. You could save so much money with some of these. So we'll get started with some cornflakes. Oh, they're, they're a family favourite in your nothing, household, aren't nothing they? Nothing like that after apple cider vinegar <laughs> and, and cheese tasties. Cheese there we yeah. go. So give these a go. We've got one here which is the Kellogg's brand and right. then one which is Asda. Can Jordan. you tell the difference? Uh, can you scare mine with a little bit more milk? We're working with the budget. Sure. Yeah, is that what it is? I, 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 there we go. There we okay, go. just a little then. There we um, go. Can I go and look first of all? Mm, you I, can go and look. Yeah, I go for look, it. I like the look of these ones. Do you? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, these, what, you think so these are a bit more pale? Little... But the mm. thing is, even if they taste similar, then that's still kind of a win because mm. they are so much cheaper. And if they are better, okay. what's the difference? Jordan? Okay, so the Kellogg's Corn Flakes is two pounds twenty-five for mm. five hundred grams. The Asda ones are seventy-five p for five hundred grams. Wow! So it works out one pound fifty cheaper. Which one do you think is which? Which one's the brand? I'm going to go for that Kellogg's. You're going for that one. Okay, I'll go with it. I think I'm, I'll go with it. I think I actually prefer the taste, of that, but <clears throat> that seems a bit crispier, a bit more Kellogg'sy, a bit more you know. Yep. Like the original. OK, well, the brand is B, you're correct, Cat. Well done. OK. So I, pre I like the cheap ones. You do like the cheaper ones. Yet again. That but they are delicious. You, they are. They could save you £78 a year if you switch down to the Asta brand, <gasps> which is a lot of money. That Lots is money. a lot of money. Now, they don't taste £78 uh, worth of difference over No, 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 no they don't. You know I, yeah, they could have done with a bit of milk, to be fair, but... So this is our high-tech <laughs> conveyor belt. Let me uh, move everything over and switch to bagels. All right, yeah, onto the bagels. Now, I don't know about you, I'm a bagel connoisseur. I absolutely mm. love a bagel. I've had a bagel every breakfast for about seven years. Every wow. single breakfast. Okay. I love them. And My I, Jack's a bagelist as well. I switched down to a Tesco bagel and they are probably about the same as a New York bagel company. One of these is Tesco, one of these is New York bagels. Which one We're do you think just is do which? That. Okay. And the price difference on this is quite big as well. Go on. It's 80p for the Tesco five bagels and then five New York bagel company bagels is £1.90. So that's a massive saving of one pound ten. Not enough butter either. Did you do the buttering like you've done the milk, I mean, here, Jordan? I'm tight. You I know mean, you me, really so. are. <laughs> what about your money? I scrimp on the butter and the milk. Which one do you think mm. is which? I think A is the uh, the New York Bagel Company one. Mm -hmm. That just seems. I don't think. You know I, I, I actually can't tell you at can't all tell. on this one. Well, that's no. good. You are right. A is mm. the New York Bagel Company one. But for me, I actually prefer the Tesco ones. And they are so much cheaper. It could save you £57 a year. That one seems a bit sweeter. So, yeah, mm. you've yes. got a bit more savoury taste. Yeah. Mm. But even so, those are good options. They are. Okay. Let's move over to your cupboard essentials. Sandra. Yes. So, we're going to start off with some baked beans. Wow, um, this looks appetising. I know. <laughs> it's a very weird assortment. <laughs> we've got breakfast, we've got some sauces, and then we've got some It's like all congealing as it goes down. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I just keep these little shivvies Have cheese some milk as they are. A palate oh my days. Really is that to... gravy on the end? What on earth is that you've made <laughs> for us there? Have you made that as well, Jordan? <laughs> oh, my God, you've spared that I... from the milk as well. Well, we could add some more to it, <laughs> if you like. So the baked beans here. This is Asda baked beans versus Heinz baked beans. The Asda baked beans are 50p for a tin. The Heinz ones are £1.40 for a tin. So it is quite a big price difference. You could save £46 pounds then... per tin per yeah. year. That's definitely Heinz, okay. I think. Um, mostly the size of the beans, I think, is the giveaway as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's a bad tasting yeah. bean, to be, no, to be honest. No, I don't think there's that much no. difference between them in yeah. order to justify the price. That's great. You are right, that is Heinz on the right-hand side. But if they taste similar, then that's a good saving as well. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Right, French cold now. French fry. Uh, early doors, <laughs> you went hard on the fact that you think the own brand I is going to be better it. than the original. I prefer it to Heinz. It is a controversial statement, I know, because people love their Heinz. But give it a go. Which one do you think is which? He okay. changed just his off, just... statement. Did you see that? Yeah, he went, yeah. I, pr I prefer. <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of talk online about this one as well. People prefer the MS one to the Heinz. You just double so it's tick, not just me. Top end, bottom end. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Heinz uh, tomato okay. ketchup is £3.40. The MS one is a pound a bottle. So it is a big saving. But, so I think that's the Heinz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, that is very tomatoey. That's got a much mm. sort of more and tangy, and tangy tomatoey flavour. So, do you prefer that? 
I, are you, you going to go I'm as far as go, to say you prefer it? I'm going to go here for this I'm one. not going to go as far as saying that, Jordan, because mm. that would mean I was wrong and you were right. Um, <laughs> and I'm not actually able to do that Fine. contractually. Fine. Uh, <laughs> but, but I can see why, again, mm. that's the, I can see why people would like it, because yeah. it's definitely yeah. more tomato -y. You are right. So the Heinz is here, the M&S is here, but if you do like the M&S one, mm -hmm. it's three and a half times cheaper gram for gram. It's £124 wow. a year you could save on your Tommy catch-up. Wow. wow. So okay. That is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Now, shall I get you some more milk for this? <laughs> well, I'm not well, just going to help. I'm going to help you. No, I'm going, I'm going build a tea. You're going build a tea? Yeah. Fine, so fine. what are we saying, then? So we've got M&S Fair Thank Trade you. everyday tea bags. They're £1.20 for eight. And you've also got the Twinings everyday tea bags. They're £4.80 for eight. So you've got an A first. So M&S or Twinings? Yeah, M&S or Twinings. The cost difference is £1.20 versus £4.80. So £3.60 I like a, sugar a pack. So you could save £187 a year if you prefer the cheaper one. I, do, I think I do like tea. I could not tell you the difference. That's I think great. that's Twinings, the A. Great news. So Twinings is B. That's great. You Twine is okay. great. I prefer that one. M&S Fairtrade, £1.20 a box. Well done, M&S. Amazing. Right, we've got 30 seconds. Right, we've got okay. some sweets. Right, OK, let's get you some sweet treats in. Nutella. Another okay, big Nutella. favourite in your household. Go yeah. on, which one do you think is which? A or B. So, Nutella, the price difference. This is Sainsbury's chocolate spread, by the way. £1.15 £1. a pack versus Nutella, £3.40 a pack. Tell. Nutella. B is Nutella. Um, B is not the Nutella. Oh! A is Nutella. So you've chosen the Sainsbury's, that's £1.15. And then finally, some jelly babies. I prefer the Tesco ones. We'll too. have to save the jelly babies. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'll take these home, it's fine. The Loose Women are coming up next on 